Hi, this is Melissa with A Creative Journey with Melissa. Today we're going to show you how to do a sympathy card. Unfortunately, um, my friend Kim with uh, pancreatic cancer actually passed away this morning. So thoughts and prayers, love, hugs, and uh, just so much support for them. And if you could put them in your prayer circle and send some prayers to them and to her son and her husband and her sister and all of her family, that would be wonderful. Um, at any rate, so I thought I would uh, show you how to create a uh, sympathy card. And typically, it's really difficult to come up with words when you have such a situation that's so difficult in itself. Um, so I am using our outside and in stamp set that helps you with that. It has the outside sentiment as well as the in, hence the name. At any rate, I'm going to show you how to make it. What you're going to need is you're going to need a card base. You're going to need some... Um, uh, paper that you will be using ink on. You'll be needing some paper here to stamp on. Um, here's some purple um, ink that you'll be using as a background. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's your ink um, to stamp with. Um, here is my cute little um, quicker picker upper that I love to use for my embellishments here. Um, these are cute little embellishments that um, you can buy. I believe you can find them at Michael's or stores um, like Joann's, etc., etc., or you can also find them sometimes in wedding aisles. They have some of these, they're really cute. Um, I had those in my stash. At any rate, here is a punch. Here is a, it's called Charles, the Cuddlebug um, embossing folder. I have some uh, 3D uh, squares that I'll be using for this creation. I have adhesive, I have, a, my, I have my stamping block, and we will also need a manual die cut. Uh, machine which is my Sizzix. So we will get started. First thing I'm going to do is I want to show you this is the stamps that I was talking to you about. It has happy birthday and may your day be as wonderful as you are. I've actually used this for an outside uh, stamp for a grateful or thank you. So that's very helpful. Um, here is the sympathy uh, stamp outside and in and thinking of you, etc., etc. And there are some embellishments you can use for a male or female card, okay? So if you want to check those out, you can go to our website at www.acreativejourneywithmelissa or www.acjwm.com. So right now what we need is our ink to stamp our sentiments, and we also um, need our purple ink to do our embossing, and we will need our, um, obviously our block. You know what, I'm going to start with, uh, I'm a little scattered today, as you can tell. Um, I'm going to start with the embossing folder, so I'm going to set this stuff aside as well. Um, what you're going to do is there's two different ways you can do it. Um, I created this card, I guess that would help, huh? This is the card I created. Very simple, very cute. Um, I used purple because of the pancreatic cancer, unfortunately, um, Kim had. And also, I didn't know if you knew this, but November is pancreatic careness. Oh, my Lord. Pancreatic cancer awareness. So that is another reason why I use this today. Okay, so this is the creation. I'll show you a little bit closer up. There's a few different ways you can do this creation. I'm going to show you a different way I did it as well. Um, I'm going to create that for you, okay? So, let me show you. I have the other piece of paper. I decided to show the embossing two different ways. This was me inking the inside flat part, okay? Now, I don't know if you can tell, but this here is flat, and this is textured. You can see that there's dots there, okay? Um, if you want to use the flat part of this, that's the creation you'll get, and that's the background you'll get. If you want to use the dotted part, this is the creation you'll get. So it depends on how much ink or how much color you want in it. I preferred the one with more color, which is why I'm using that for my creation. But it'd be really neat for you to, um, and as you can see, you can see where I kind of swooshed on the um, stamp uh, ink. If you want to use a little bit less or do multiple colors and just have a few little dots in there. That's really neat too. They're both great. I preferred this one for this, okay? So what we're going to do, I'm gonna set this aside, is we're going to pull out 
our Sizzix die cut machine. And what I'm going to do is I am going to ink the smooth side, like I said, the smooth side. See, this is the textured side. You could probably see it a little bit better right like that. This is the smooth side. That's the side I'm going to be inking, okay? So we're just going to take it right here. We're going to open up our ink pad. And we're going to ink the entire thing, just like so. You could use paint. Um, I would definitely thin it out so that it doesn't get too goopy. Um, you can use watercolors. There's a lot of things you can do with embossing folders. Um, I happen to use ink because this purple was perfect for what I was looking for, okay? So you have that there. We'll put our ink away. We're going to take our paper here and we're just going to scoot it right up to the top. Whoops. Right up to the top right there. And that's where we want it. So I'm going to close. Oops. I'm going to, it's sliding a little bit. I'm going to close the folder, okay? And now we have our plat, our clear platforms here, and our Sizzix platform is actually open to tab one. This is tab two, and it's on, excuse me, tab one as you can see, okay? So we're going to have tab one, then we're going to put our clear platform on, then we're going to put our embossing folder with the paper on, and then we're going to sandwich in like that the embossing folder. So like I said, tab one, then we have our clear embossing platform, our embossing, excuse me, folder with the paper in it, and then our clear embossing slash die cut platform, okay? So we're just gonna go like this, oops, if it wants to stay in. <laughs> And I'm going to roll it right through. And you'll see that, whoops, go through. Sometimes it's a little bit harder than others. Okay. Scoot this over a little bit. Pull off the clear platform. We don't need this right now. And what you see here is what the paper looks like. I love the way that came out. You can see where it was actually embossed and you can see where the extra ink is. Okay, so we're just gonna pull this off like so and I'm gonna set it aside just to make sure that it um, dries up. In the meantime, I have little wipes here. I'm just gonna wipe this off. It might stain a little and that's okay. Don't worry about it. It won't come off on your creation. Just try to make sure you get as much as you can off. All right, and then make sure you also let it dry. So we're just wiping that off. You can use baby wipes. You could use Windex wipes. Um, there's a number of different things you can use um, to get your uh, embossing folder clean. I'm doing a rush job because I don't think you want to sit here and watch me do this all day. So we're going to set that aside. And I'm going to wash off my fingers because you will get inky doing this, trust me. Okay, so we don't need this anymore, so we're going to scoot this out of the way. We do have this done, which is awesome. That's what I wanted. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take out our stamp block, our black ink, and we'll also need our punch. So let's take that out. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the sentiment for the outside, okay? So with that, I'm going to take out my personal set, and that's this one. I um, am going to be doing the With Heartfelt Sympathy. So I'm going to peel this off. These are photopolymer stamps. I'm just going to peel it off, and all you need to do is stick it to an acrylic block. You can even use a CD case or something like that that will stick. It's almost like the clings that you use on your windows, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're, we already placed the stamp on here, okay? Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to ink, okay? So we're going to ink. I usually do it three times, sometimes four, just to make sure I've got enough ink on there. And I'm going to Set it right there, 
Okay. And it came off. Da, da, da. Oh, it's got a little smear on that. Probably because it went flying. And that's got a little smear on that. But I think I could still utilize the paper. So let's see. You know what? I'm going to use another piece just for the sake of this creation. Okay. So we're going to use that. And then we're going to stamp right here. That's it. So now I'm not going to need this ink for this part. We'll wipe this off because I will end up needing this block in a little bit for the inside of the stamp. I'm sorry, the inside of the card. Just wipe that off. In the meantime, I'm going to use this punch. And I like to use the punch this way so I can see exactly where I'm putting it. Okay. Now, as you can see here with the card, I utilize the stamp. I'm sorry, the punch, and I put it up and down. So this way, I'm going to do it actually horizontally. So you can do it either way. I'm scooting it as far in as I can, trying to center it so it looks good. Looks good to me, and I'm just going to squeeze it so the punch is done. Okay, we can put the punch aside. We don't need that anymore. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my card and I'm going to still do it the same way, okay? So it'll open up this way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my sentiment right now on the inside. So that's why we call it outside and in, because we have your outside sentiment and the in. I know, ingenious, right? <laughs> it's just what came to me when I named it. At any rate, so this sentiment is um, one of my favorites because it really does say a lot, and because a lot of people don't really know what to say when someone passes. I know I certainly don't, and it can be very, very difficult. So um, what this sentiment says is, may your fond memories of your loved one give you comfort during this difficult time. So I'm going to, just for the heck of it, because I've learned be from before, I'm going to stamp with this cutie first, just to make sure there's not any fuzz in the letters or anything like that, because sometimes that happens, okay? So I'm just going to use this piece that was a little messed up before. It looks good. i got to put that aside. Actually, I don't need it anymore. I'm going to throw that out. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to stamp on the inside of this card, okay? So I'm going to um, ink. As you already know, I placed my stamp on here. I'm going to just do this right here. And that's set. Okay, so I have stamped the inside. I have stamped the outside, so that's done. Okay, so now all I need to do is put the card together. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to take the adhesive and place adhesive on the back of the card area where we did the embossing. Okay, this is basically the background color for your, for your card. Okay. And actually, I have a little spot right here. Okay. So I'm going to place this right here like this. And make sure it adheres. Okay, so that's that. And I don't need these anymore, so I'm going to set this aside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this little cutie right here and figure out exactly where I want the uh, the 3D squares to be. So I'm going to place them here. Okay. And then I'm also going to place them right on top of here. And this is the way it's going to look. So I'm also going to place two on the bottom here. Okay. And then just to make sure that I don't make it a little bumpy, because it did get a little bit bumpy on the other ones, I'm going to put a few little extra small square ones on here. I think it'll be helpful. And it'll give a little bit more... Um, 
evenness to the creation. Okay, so I'm taking off all of these papers for the back so that the adhesive is covered. Now I'm basically just uncovering it. Okay. And I'm just going to put a few of these little squares right on top of here on each of them just to give that little bit of oomph for the creation. And I'll be doing it on the other ones as well. Just a little bit more oomph. Because I don't want it to um, look tattered. And when you push down on this, sometimes it does make it look a little tattered. So I'm going to take the backs of these off. And then I want to make sure that this is like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it right where I think it should go. So I'm placing it right on top of there. Okay. Looks good. I'm also going to place one more layer of... Actually, I think I'm going to use the larger foam squares right here on top of these black ones just so that they don't get messed up here. Okay. I think this will be good. And this will be good. And I think I'm going to stick two right in the middle. Like so. Just so it doesn't get squished up. And then this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to place this right here where we think it belongs. And I think this looks great. Okay. So as you can see, it looks a little bit different than the one we just did. Now for the finishing touches. Since we have these pearls here, I thought it would be good to put a few on the bottom. So I'm going to take my quick stick, as they call it, the quicker picker upper, although I thought that was actually paper towels, if I remember correctly, when I was younger. Yes, I think I just dated myself. But, oops, there it is. <laughs> It ran away. We're going to use a different one because that seems like it's a little turkey today. Ironic, it's close to Thanksgiving. Okay. So that is our card. Again, clean, simple. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with the embossing technique I showed you. I love to put ink on my embossing folders. It's one of my favorite things to do ever. So now, not only do we have the front of the card done for you, we also have the inside. So instead of having to try to think of something that's really difficult to put the words to it, there really isn't any words that you can really say that will um, make everything okay, but to let someone know that you really care and send them your love and support and prayers and give them a, a little text now and then, it really does mean a lot. So um, I really do appreciate you joining us today. I hope you have a fantastic day, and please remember... Hug your loved ones. Tell them you love them. Tell them um, now, because you never know how much time we have. And um, God got another angel today. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.